After learning the triangle law of vector addition, parallelogram law of vector addition, now let's talk about the polygon law of vector addition. This, the statement of the polygon law of vector addition states something like this. If a number of vectors are represented completely by the side of a polygon taken in order, their resultant is fully represented by the closing side of the polygon taken in opposite order. All right, so let's make a first uh, polygon. So here I have a polygon and polygon means, you know, everybody know, I think, uh, it's any closed figure, you know, uh, which has uh, three or more than three sides, you know. Uh, so any closed geometrical figure which has three or more than three sides is called polygon. So here I have, a, I don't know how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's octagon, all right. And in octagon, now let's try to understand what this polygon law vector addition trying to say, all right. You can draw any number of sides, all right. There is no problem at that. Uh, if a number of vectors are represented completely by the sides of the polygon taken in order, okay. So let's... Uh, let's uh, write all let's let's say this side a b is representing one vector all right similarly uh, another b c side is representing another vector similarly c d is representing another vector similarly let's say d c is representing uh, another vector similarly e f is representing one vector similarly this f g is also representing a vector all right and similarly g h is also representing a vector all right so if uh, if we add these all all right and these all are in the same order right all are going in the same way the, all of them are moving in the same way. So same order of direction I have taken. So it says that if AB plus BC plus CD plus DE plus EF plus FG plus GH, if we do, then the polygonal states that the resultant is fully represented by the closing side of the polygon. And this is the closing side of the uh, polygon means this is the net magnitude of the resultant but taken in opposite order. Means these all are coming like this. So we need to go in opposite order from here, right? We move towards this but now here we're moving in opposite order. So if we see the order from A to B we went then B to C we went then C to D then D to E, E to F, F to G, G to H but now we're coming from H to A we're going in opposite way we are going in opposite order so it's A to H all right so this 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 all vector sum is equivalent to A H all right and the A H direction is just opposite of the order. So in any polygon, you know, any number of polygon we have, any number of sides we have, that does not matter. So the sum of those all sides, you know, taken in one order will be given by the opposite order, the closing side in the opposite order. And if you see this from the prospect of the triangle of vector addition, then again, you can prove this easily, you know. See here, if you, if you just connect this here, if you connect this here, then you'll, you're going to get A, B, C. It's a triangle, right? And in the triangle, if you see, see here, in the triangle, uh, here I'm say, taking the two sides in one order, then the, the, the resultant will be this side, all right? The resultant will be AC side. So here what I can say that AB and plus BC is given by the side AC, all right? And now once again, what happens if I'm now taking the triangle A, C and D, all right? So that time it will be like this. So again in the triangle, if you see A, uh, C, D, then again what you will get one thing, that the side AC and the CD is equivalent to the AD, all right? Similarly, what you can write, you can write AC plus CD is equivalent to the AD side, all right? And again, uh, let's suppose uh, I'm going to connect this A and E, all right? Then I'll get another triangle, that is triangle ADE, all right? So in this triangle, again, if you see, you're going to get the two sides taken in same order and the third side will be this one. So this third, the third side will represent the magnitude and direction of this two side that is AD plus DE. All right, so what you can write here now, AD plus DE equals to AE. All right, similarly, what I'm going to do now next time, I'm going to connect this A and F. All right, so when I collect this A and F, then the triangle A, E and F will be, uh, uh, will be like this. AE plus EF is going to be equal with the side AF. So from the same triangle, I'm applying triangle everywhere, all right? So it's going to be AE plus uh, EF equals AF, all right? The same process I'm going to do one more time, and I'm going to connect this A and G. So when I'm connecting A and G, again, I'm, I'm going to get formed a triangle, that's triangle A, F, and G. In this triangle A, F, and G, again, see uh, two sides in one, one, uh, one order, all right? So AF. And FG 
and the third side is representing the magnitude and direction of those two. So what I can write here that AF plus FG is equal with AG. All right. And the last time again, I got formed a triangle, and the triangle is here A, G, and H. So in the triangle A, G, and H, if you see, this is one side, and this is another side. So the resultant is A, H. You know, if I'm going to add A, G, and G, H, then the side A, H is giving my resultant. So what I can write here that the side A, G, and this is representing a vector also. So A, Z plus G, H is giving me the third side that is a h all right that's a h and now my dear friends i'm just gonna put the all values of a z and g h and see what the result i'm gonna get it all right so what's a z what's a z the side a z recently i write that is a f plus f z so what i'm gonna write there there i'm gonna write in the place of this a z i'm gonna write this a f plus f g all right so it's a f plus f g okay so i write here uh, I mean this AF and FG I write and again you know what is AF? AF is actually the sum of the AE and EF so so uh, this is AH and in the next step what I can write in the place of AF I can I can I can write this AE plus EF so it's going to be AE plus EF plus this FG all right equals to AH my dear friend once again you see what is AE a is actually the sum of this A, D, it's not like O, oh, alright, it's my crappy handwriting, I'm sorry for that, but it's A, D plus D, E, alright, so in the figure also you can see, if you see A, you know, this A, E, if you apply the triangle law, that's going to be A, D plus D, E, alright, so, so, so it's A, D plus D, E, alright, and this is E, F and F, G, alright, so that's E, F and <coughs> F, G, that's going to be A, H. Further, my dear friends, AD is equals to AC plus CD. So in the place of AD, I'm going to write this AC and then I'm going to write CD. And again, this is DE and then EF and the last one, that's FG. Okay, and that's equivalent to AH. And the last one, what is this AC? This AC is actually the sum of the AB and BC. If you see this AC, you know, this AC, uh, let me show you with this color, all right? This AC is actually the sum of the AB plus BC when you apply the triangle. That's here. All right. So I'm going to replace that now. That's AC is equals to AB plus BC. And then rest of this I'm going to write. All right. That's CD and then DE and then EF and then FG. And that's equivalent to AH. And this is the statement of the polygon law of the vector addition that we recently proved here, all right, that, that we learned here. If a number of the vector are represented completely by the side of a polygon taken in order, the resultant is fully represented by the closing side of the polygon. So if we are taking the all side of the polygon taken in order, and if those all side are representing the vectors, then the sum of those all side, you know, the resultant of those all side is represented by the closing side that is AH. All right, so AB plus BC plus CD plus DE plus EF plus FG plus GH equivalent to AH. That is here. And that's why we proved it here. All right. I hope you understand it. And uh, if there is any confusion in this video, then please comment uh, below this video and feel free to ask me any kind of questions related to this. And uh, see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.